Am I good to go? Yep. All right. First, I want to say I appreciate everyone coming out to, uh, you know, show interest in what we're doing. You know, we're on the back half of our schedule, five games left, uh, with a lot of our goals still out very much out in front of us. So we just, as you know, just got out the practice field, trying to make sure that we're doing everything we can to, you know, put ourselves in a position to take advantage of this opportunity going down the stretch. So with that, I'll open up to you guys. John? Are you going to call him or? Yeah, I'll call him. Uh, okay. I'll just give him all permission to record real quick. Sorry. No, no worries. Chad. Hi, Liddell. How are you doing? Thanks Good. for joining us. Good. Um, that, how do you feel like the by committee approach has been working uh, on the field so far this season? It's been a little bit of a challenge. Um, I think <laughs> the offense as a whole has been a little bit of a challenge in terms of uh, creating a, efficient drives so we can, can consistently move the ball. So, I don't think many of the running backs have had an opportunity to fully get into a rhythm. There's been a couple of games where, we, where we've had an opportunity here and there to get in the rhythm. Um, but just of late, just just execution alone, we haven't had an opportunity to get in the rhythm. So to answer your your question specifically, the, the running back by committee thing is, you know, it's a little bit hit or miss right now, just, just allowing guys to get drives, long drives put together where they can get four or five carries back to back. That's kind of what you'd like to see. Hey, Liddell, how are you? Good, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. So what's been the key here for Caleb Johnson? He's had quite the start as a true freshman. Um, are you asking what's the key to, to him being out on the field? Yeah, what's been the key for him to have so much early success? Uh, for one, you know, he was blessed athletically in terms of size and strength. That, that, let's start there. But aside from that, it's his attitude. You know, he comes in here uh, ready to work. He's eager to learn. Uh, he approaches the weight room the same way. He comes out and out to practice the very same way. And so as as he's gotten more confidence and more comfortable with what we're doing, we're trying to allow him to uh, get more reps out on the field. But at the same time, you don't want to you don't want to put too much on his shoulders. This this is a kid that was just in high school, not you know only a few months ago. So he's participating on special teams. He's participating on offense. I think he's. Um, gotten more carries than all the other backs the last three games in a row. So his 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 role is starting to grow, but, you know, you have to make sure you temper that at the same time because he's still got class and a bunch of other things he's got to worry about other than just football. Kenny? Good morning, Coach. Appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Good morning. I know Last year, one of the big things that Tyler Gibson talked about was the relationship between the running backs and the offensive line. Um, just wanted to get your vantage point on how young running back room, young offensive line, how they've been working together and kind of going through these growing pains together this year. Well, I think you kind of touched on it, really, when you just said young. Um, both groups are, are pretty young, uh, specifically my group alone. Uh, I imagine we have to have the youngest group on the team, uh, two sophomores, two freshmen, Another freshman, uh, so we're we're pretty young in that regard. A lot of guys that don't have much experience in terms of game experience, uh, let alone just years in the program. So we're we're young. There's a few guys in that in the offensive line room that are young as well. So those guys are kind of all going through the fire together. We're growing together, and, I, and you know I see things. You know I think it was a couple of days ago where I saw LeSean sitting down at a table full of, with the offensive linemen eating lunch, and I told him I said, Hey, you're a very smart man. You know, so they're, they're bonding. They're, <laughs> they're getting along off the field, and they're trying to build that bond so that that bond carries over on the field, too, to answer your question. Um, hey, Liddell. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Um, wanted to ask you about Devin Hilson. Did you end up losing him to the other side of the ball? I saw he was warming up with the defense the other day. He's been doing a little bit of both. I know Devin's still contributing um, on scout team as a running back. 
but he has been uh, taking some reps and, and doing things with individual period with, with some of the defensive players. Uh, just trying to give him the best opportunity to help the team. He started to step his role up, not only uh, on special teams, but he stepped his game up off the field too. He's taking care of his business in the classroom, showing a lot more maturity this year than, than last year. And that's what you like to see out of a, uh, a second year player. So Devin's doing a good job. His, his role is starting to increase. And, and where that is fully on this team, who, who knows? But yes, he is taking some some opportunities with the defense right now as well. Chad? Hey, Liddell. I, I, if my memory serves, you you were a third down back in the NFL and then a three down back at Iowa, right? We had a lot of pass blocking. Right. We put in a lot of uh, pass. Uh, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, that that's been an area of maybe struggle for these running backs thus far, just the pass protection, or at the same time, they're going out in a lot of routes and Spencer's not getting that pass protection on third down. I guess where, where are you at in terms of with the young group, obviously, uh, how how they're coming along in the pass blocking because it seems like they could use that help in the protection. When you say they, are you referring to the running backs or are you t- referring to the offense? Uh, it feels like the the protection needs some help. I got maybe, you. I understand your, your question. Running, maybe your running backs can contribute to that, but it also seems like they're going out on routes on third down. So I guess where are you at in terms of that? It's a little bit of both for us. We do we do um, contribute in the, in the protection in terms of the pass game, but it, but we also contribute in terms of routes, which is what you're touching on. And 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 really for for young backs, I think that's the the biggest learning curve that backs have to go through. Is understanding how they how they match in the passing game in terms of getting out on routes, and more importantly, understanding pass protection. Uh, the communication has to be solid, that, so you don't have free runners getting at the quarterback, which is to your point earlier, uh, a role that I played in the NFL, which allowed me to play for a long time, was my understanding of of, of uh, pass protection. So, those guys are learning. Obviously, they don't have it all mastered. They're continuing to learn and they're continuing to see the game uh, quicker and process information quicker. But it is an area that we continue to emphasize and continue to try to get those guys up to speed, especially the young freshmen. If I could just follow up quick, it seems mm-hmm. like Gavin has been your predominant third down back. Is there a reason for that? Is, is he that much farther ahead of those guys uh, a, in that area? A lot of it is really what, what I just touched on. It's, it's just understanding uh, protection rules, protection responsibilities, routes, uh, catching, and Gavin is pretty good in all three of those phases. He can pass protect, he can run routes, and uh, more than usual, he's, he's a pretty adequate pass catcher as well. So he's a guy that, you know, we rely on as a leader and we rely on as in terms of the leadership in that, in that passing category as well. John? Speaking of Gavin, his production hasn't been quite the same this year as the other two backs and what he did last year. Why do you think that's the case, and is there anything you can do to help him get in better spots? I think, for one, and Gavin and I have talked personally about this, too. Um, Gavin's, for one, Gavin's doing a great job. He continues to come out here and, and try to be a professional, and uh, even though his his role, so to speak, in the run game has diminished a little bit. But um, to touch on, on on his production, it really started with, uh, with camp. You know, he just missed so much time, and – you can't really make up for that time until you get back and get those practice reps. And early on, I think he missed a couple of weeks with, um, I think it was ankle. No, it was hamstring first, and he came back a week later. He, he was out for about two, three weeks with the ankle. So he just had unfortunate, you know, injury, bad luck history early on in camp and missed a lot of time. And sometimes when you miss time, you miss that timing in the run game, the quickness, all those little things. And, and now he's starting to get back in, in true form. Uh, the Gavin I've seen in practice is the Gavin that I've, accustomed to know over the last couple of years. Uh, it's just unfortunate that he didn't get a chance to really get that early on in the season because he was just hurt. He was out. It's hard It's hard when you miss time like that. Tom? Oh, sorry. Um, I wanted to ask about uh, LeSean and, mm-hmm. and uh, what you've seen from him so far um, this season um, and how he's responded to some adversity in his own life uh, and how you've helped him through that. Um, Lee Shine's doing a great job. He's, in my opinion, I say this all the time, he's grown a lot, he's matured a lot. Uh, he's a guy that I've come to rely on a lot in terms of every facet of the game, whether it's run game, pass game, uh, in terms of knowledge of the offense, in terms of productivity. I think he's producing pretty well right now. 
So, uh, excuse me, not Gavin. LeSean is doing a great job. And, and to your, your point about the adversity, that's what you like to see most about, for me anyway, about a player is how do they respond to adversity? He had adversity in his own personal life, and we're having adversity as a football team right now. So I think he's more equipped than anybody to handle this in terms of the, the rough patch that we're going through as, a, as an offense. I mean, when you deal with something like that off the field, this kind of that puts everything in perspective. What we're dealing with on the field is, is it's just a football game. Now, we need to get it corrected, but at the end of the day, it's football. What he dealt with off the field is life. That's real life stuff. So, um, you know, you like to see him continue to progress in the way he's handled things. I mean, it's showing a lot of maturity, in my opinion. Kenny? Coach, I wanted to ask you about Jazian, um, hmm. just kind of what you've seen from him um, and his development and, um, you know, maybe – if he could find a role somewhere in the, in the second half of the season or kind of what's the, the stages of his development right now? Jazzian is uh, still out there with us in terms of on the offensive side of the field. He's, he's not really doing scout team right now. So Jazz is with me pretty much every day. Uh, he gets he gets reps with the, with, with the second group. Um, he has a pretty firm understanding of the offense. Obviously, there's more for him to learn, but he's coming along. His, his development process is coming along the way you want it to. And we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how much he'll be used down the stretch. A lot of that can be determined by injuries. It could be determined by production. Who knows? But I think he's in a good spot. He's not doing anything that's uh, that's a negative, in my opinion. He's doing all the right things. Ken. Yeah. Last question for me. Um, obviously, you and George in second in your second year as coaches, and uh, Abdul obviously in his first. Um, so mm -hmm. young offensive staff. Uh, how much? input I guess do you guys have as young coaches into the game plan or is it more kind of top down when you guys go into preparing for for each week uh, in the offensive you know room uh, it's we all share responsibility in this um, we all have a say so we we all go through the run game the pass game collectively as a group um, so I wouldn't say it's just a top down I, I, it's a collective it's a collective effort so we all share responsibility in, in everything that goes on good or bad um, but yeah, to your to your answer your question directly, it, it is a collective collective effort. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to raise my hand. So, <laughs> so it must have hit. <laughs> Anything else for uh, coach? All right, thanks everybody. Thanks, Odell. Appreciate Thank you. It. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.